Alrighty then, good afternoon everybody. Silver Dragon here, uh, coming at you with a little something different. Uh, Sang Freud, a uh, tale of uh, two were a terror, a tale of werewolves, I should say. Two. Uh, now this is a game I actually did do a video on a long while ago, actually. And uh, I decided that, you know, I am going to finally complete this game. And I'm going to do it on YouTube, because why the hell not? Why the hell not? So we're gonna start this off. It's basically a uh, interesting, uh, both defensive and uh, attacking game. You end up getting waves of, uh, excuse me, waves of uh, critters trying to attack your uh, various buildings, and you have to run around and defend them, lay down traps at night, and or well, I should say, lay down traps during the day, plan your strategy during the day. Uh, grab whatever you can and get ready to defend yourself during the night. So we're gonna do a new game here. Start this up fresh so you guys can get uh, get a good idea about what's going on here. Now you have two different choices you can make. You can do Jack, which is a uh, higher difficulty hero. He suits strategic players that favor cunning and traps to survive. Or of course we have the guy that's always my favorite one. I always pick it's Joe's. Just because I like, you know, strategy and using all the traps all the time is good. I use it with this guy anyway. But I love to get in the face and start bashing down werewolf scum with my axe. So Joseph is definitely my choice when it comes to that. Big old Joseph. And the interesting thing about this is, you know, being being Canadian is uh, these guys are actually based off of, you know, Canadian lumberjacks and Canadian lore. Uh, when it comes to a lot of the old ones like my cans and you know werewolves and uh, all stuff like that, you know, Wolverines. All right, I'll just go silver for this one. All right, let's do this. Day one, W Hood Logging Company. So yeah, it's quite interesting to say the least. I've I've played this game many like off and on all the time. Every time I want to just get back into it, and I absolutely love the game. Unfortunately, it doesn't go into windowed mode very well, but that's, you know, minor thing, minor thing. Oh, yes, and apparently our opponent is the devil. Literally. As I live and breathe, if it isn't my little sister, Josephine, what good wind blows you to the deepest, darkest no. forest to see your hermit brother? More like a storm, I'm afraid. The parish priest went crazy and jumped me like a demon when I was dusting the sacristy. I tried to fend him off with a candelabra, but a candle fell on the floor and the church caught fire. Ever since, the whole parish of Woolsvale says it's my fault. That's just crazy. Bastard. Doesn't make any sense at all. But hey, don't just stand there like you're holding up the door. The thing is, you see, Jacques, I'm not alone. Dun dun dun. Yes, I'm don't here. Worry. It wasn't my idea to come here, brother. Without Joseph to protect me, the villagers would have torn me to pieces in the village square. He can't live there anymore either. Please, Jacques, for the love of our mother, let bygones be bygones and let us both stay here with you. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. <gasps> Did you hear that? Sounds My like horse! Outside spooking our horses. Since you're going to be living off me, Josie, might as well make yourself useful and chase it away, will ya? Fine. Yeah, I'll heat up some tea for our sister. You best take good care of her. She's got a fever. Mm-hmm. Cabin fever. <laughs> no, anyway. But yeah, I absolutely love this game just from all the, you know, strategy elements in it as well as the, you know, beating down your enemies with your axe kind of stuff, you know. You also have a nice little gun you can uh, use to, well, flintlock, I should I'll say, you damned. use to take down your enemies. Horses are dead, and your wolverine looks a lot more like a wolf, Jackie boy. Pack must be close by. Uh, let's go beat down a wolf. Now, this is what we have right now for the map, but it expands quite a bit. Like, you start off defending just your house from all these, like, waves of enemies. And eventually you work your way up to, uh, like, defending four or five structures against wolves, will-o'-wisps, mycans, all kinds of stuff. And they all require their own little strategies every now and then in order to take them all down. Alright, where are we at here? Uh-oh, that's unfortunate. The bridge to the village is burning. 
Looks like I'm gonna be staying with Jack longer than expected. All right, then. Combat. Your health is represented by the red bar at the bottom of the screen, while your stamina you don't have a lot of is it. represented <laughs> by the green bar. You use stamina for each attack you make. If you run out of stamina, then your attacks are slow and weak. Which happens you too often. You <laughs> accumulate rage for each attack you land on an enemy. The fire on the HUD and on your axe indicates that you have some rage built up. Right click to unleash all your rage. Which is unbelievably useful, especially to against werewolves. enemy attacks, you can press the space bar to perform a dodge roll. Which unfortunately uses too much stamina at times, so it makes it hard to regen enough for an attack if you're having to dodge near the end of it. Oh wait, I have wolves behind me. Boom! Bad wolf! But yeah, you never want to get into the red if you can help it. Alright, wolves down. Let's keep going. Saint Anne, have mercy on me! For the love of God, please help me! I think now's when I get my gun. Yep, this is where I get my gun. The rifle. To reload your rifle, hold down the control key. To reload faster, click the right mouse button repeatedly. This icon that mouse, right appears mouse when your rifle is loaded. Your crosshair will be red if you have no target, or if your target is out of range. It will be yellow if you're auto-locked onto an enemy. If you aim carefully for the head, the crosshair will turn green, and you can make a headshot, which is causing maximum useful. damage. Especially Left if you're using a holy round on a werewolf. You need that damn headshot because those things are The amount are of ammo bastards. you have remaining is Especially shown at the bottom werewolf? left of the screen. I don't even want to think about that bastard. Alright. Ram that right mouse button. Go, 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 go. Boom! Headshot! Oh, gotta read back off. Rest my stamina. All right, you can get down now, Miller. Get your butt down here, boy. The good Lord has sent you. Without your help, I would have been devoured like a rabbit. Hard to miss you, Miller. I think they heard you all the way in Quebec City. Be yep. careful. There's a pack of rabbit wolves around here. How many? Dozens, hundreds, maybe. Hmm. They even blocked the road to my mill in the east. Go see by yourself if you want. As for me, I'm gonna run and hole up at the W. Hood Company. Ah. Alright. Run! Oh, we got wolves. There's like three of them up there. I'm not gonna waste a bullet, though. I won't need it for these guys. Fear Factor. Ah, the Fear Factor. When you're in combat, the Fear Factor meter appears at the bottom of the screen. This meter represents the time you have before your enemy's next attack. The more your enemies fear you, the greater the distance between both icons and the more time you have before the next attack. However, enemies aren't as afraid of you with each passing second, in which case, the icons start to get closer. When mm -hmm. your enemy's fear factor is equal to yours, the icons touch and your enemies attack. If you're running low on stamina, it's better to keep your distance and let it recharge. Be careful though, even if you have a higher fear factor, enemies will still attack you if you're too close. Yep. Let's do this, wolves. Come get some. Oh yeah, prick? How's that? 
Think you could just bite me and get away with it? You're dreaming, wolf. Ah, uh, 0 0.06 cents. Well, I should say six cents in order to sell their hides. Secure the mill bridge. All right, let's go take a look. Yeah, we got a tree down on the bridge. So this is one of the other structures you'll have to defend eventually. Pack management. When you attack multiple enemies at the same time, then your screwed. chances for survival drop. So it's important to know how to intimidate your enemies to space out their attacks. There are two ways to intimidate your enemies. First, every time an enemy takes damage, its fear factor decreases. Second, mm -hmm. the icon at the bottom of the screen is one of your special abilities, the intimidating shout. Press the Q key to shout and intimidate your enemies. Don't forget, which I use the more often to lure the them in. The two icons is how long you have before the next attack. Take this time to reload your gun and let your stamina recharge. Lastly, the paw symbol over an enemy's head means it's next to attack. Always pay attention to them. Yep. Although they may attack at the same time. Boom! Alright. Oh, the possession has begun. That's my brother. I turned my back for two seconds and he's in hot water. I'd better get back to the cabin as quick as I can. Yep. See the cabin's under attack there. They managed to destroy it, you lose. I don't want to drink it. Fine, you're making me drink it. Drinking some good old Canadian whiskey. Oh, I need to regen my stamina. Alright, big boss. Boom! That is the tougher little grand wolf, if I'm not mistaken, right there. Alright, took care of him. Problem solved. Good thing I saved that shout, ain't it? He would have caused me a little more havoc than the rest of them did. They speak to me. I hear them. But especially I... I see. I see the beasts. They were sent by the devil. Yep. Literally. What happened? <laughs> I don't know. She started shaking like a crazy person. Then she let out an awful scream and fell to the ground. Damn it, I asked you to watch her. There was nothing I could do. Go get Dr. Lamontang. I don't know what happened, but the bridge to Wolf's Vale was burnt down. We'll have to wait till morning. Mm-hmm. Werewolf. Absolute tough bastards. Continue. Chapter 2, Desires and Regrets. My lord, forgive me. I was overcome with desire. What have I done? What have I done? Horrible things. Horrible things. And Your guess who it is? Name, it's Elsie. the devil! Who's there? <laughs> who are you? But you just now invited me. When you tried to attack your servant Josephine after she'd refused your advances, I thought we had some affinities. But when you let the fire spread in your church after Josephine hit you with the candelabra, when you accused her in front of all the villagers of the crime that you had in fact committed, that was when I knew we were going to do great things together. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that is what brings me here to make an offer you can't possibly refuse concerning your lovely and inaccessible servant. 
Devil! Devil! Here's the strategy mode. You're able to place traps in the forest for the uh, coming night. Uh-oh. I see them. The beasts want to carry me back to their master. They'll attack tonight. Feel the presence of a werewolf. Usually weird she's supposed to speak, Omens. actually. The omen cards represent Josephine's visions, and they help you plan your defense for the coming night. This mm. shows the type of enemy that will attack. Leaving your cursor over a card will show you a lot of information about that enemy type. Oh, yeah. This is the number of enemies that will attack from this area. The attacking order of the omen cards depends on what wave they belong to. During the night, a new wave will not attack until the previous wave has been defeated. Yep. You can choose which waves you see on the map with the filters on the right side of the screen. And they actually actually start off with two buildings the to defend now, The last icon on the card represents what their target is for the night. In this case, it's your house. House of the chicken If you poop. click on a card, you'll see the enemy's path to their target. Plan your strategy with the help of these omen cards. All right. Now that I know where the beasts are going to attack from, I'll set some traps to help me tonight. Indeed. Unfortunately, this first bit kind of forces me to build these traps. I'd rather save the money. But I will do what I must. Tutorial video for the wolf trap? Why not? Why not? Let's take a look at that. The wolf trap. You can walk over your wolf trap without worry. You won't set it off. A wolf trap will automatically activate when an enemy walks over it. We'll kill any basic wolf, but its main, its main benefit is from uh, holding werewolves. But you can only really do that well with some temporary stuff. Sure. The hanging or, net. If you have the upgrades, I should say, for it, it's the only real way. The number well above it. the net represents the amount of enemies underneath your trap. Boom. All you have to do is aim and shoot the net to bring it down on your enemies. Pretty useful for taking out any uh, swarms of enemies. Finally finished setting my traps. Now I should wait for nightfall. Yep. I will, but let's take a look here. Okay, wave one, we have four of those guys coming from there. I'll intercept them immediately and take them out. We have two more coming from down there. I will stay down there and wait for them. And finally, we have the werewolf on the way. I'll try and take out the net just as he's about to go in there. But we'll see if it works or not. So either way, I'm stuck in that one little corridor taking them out, which is actually really good. I love it when situations like that happen. It makes it real easy to take out the enemies. Okay, wave one is beginning. Let's do this, wolves. Come get a piece of the silver. That's right, fear me, punks! Fear me! There we go. That's one set down. I have it loaded, ready to go. So the moment that uh, the other guys get close to me, I'll be taking that out. Detection. detection. Ah, yes, detection. Enemies can see and hear you. If an enemy gets too close to you, it will see you and attack. The circle around your hero on the minimap represents the sound he makes. When you move, you make more noise. Mm -hmm. An enemy will detect you if its dot on the minimap enters your circle. Certain actions like firing your rifle or shouting create a lot of noise. Is what I use often when an enemy hears in. you, a marker will appear at your feet. This marker represents the last place an enemy heard you. All enemies that heard you will go to this marker. If the enemy does not see or hear you Great again, he will net. leave the area after a short period of time. 
and the marker disappears. The dashed circle on your mini-map is the range of your shout. Use this ability to lure enemies under your traps. Which I'll use for the werewolf. I'll save it for the other two. No. I'd rather go beat them down. Let's chillax for a minute here. to run back here when I get the chance in order to hit the werewolf. Damn, that thing's got a roar. Alright, buddy, come into my circle. Alright, get ready. Here she comes. Now the nets are free. All they really cost is action points, which are in and of themselves can be spent eventually on certain things, but you know. And done. Oh, nope. Never mind. Now it's done. 30 cents for that hide. Yeehaw! And I didn't waste a single one of the traps that actually cost money, so I can sell them now. Now the traps that cost money are actually persistent to the map, so if you, if you have to pay money for something, it will actually stay there every single night. The ones that require just action points, on the other hand, will not. Level 2! Yay! And I got some more cash. So now I can sell those other two traps. Grand Wolf. Tough little bastard. Chapter 3, Resentment and Damnation. <laughs> Action points. It costs action points every time you place a trap. The amount of action points a trap costs to place is shown in the trap info, which appears yep. when leaving your cursor over the icon. Some traps also cost money. Which are the traps I hate to use if I can help it. To remove a trap, click on the trap removal tool, then select the trap. To remove all your traps, click on the Remove All tool, then Confirm. Yep. You traps you disappear up after one night, strategy. except those that cost money, which stay until used. Mm -hmm. The bonfire. Sure, why not? Let's take a look at it, shall we? Bonfires. To light a bonfire, press E while close by. If you're standing near a lit bonfire, it will significantly increase your fear factor. If you move too far away, you lose the bonus. Yep. This icon shows how much time is left before the bonfire goes out. I very rarely actually use bonfires. Logging from the Wood Ho Company, or Wood Hood, or W Hood Company, I should say. Durr. Durr. Uh, I've opened a new path. They open new paths every day. So, I gotta watch that stuff. Feel the need of a little extra help planning a strategy. You can open up the tips menu, but I'm good. Alright, so let's sell these. Actually, you know what? I'm going to place different traps, I guess. That way I should get the uh, points back as well. Okay, wave one. We have a werewolf coming straight for the house. And these guys are going for the chicken coop. I'm assuming they're going to take the fairly direct route. There they are. In that case, I will try and lure all of them over to this net here. 
All right, let me delete this. I'll just take the money back because that'll work well for me. Okay, wave two. We have two grand wolves right there and four regular wolves. For that, I will use the... Wait, how much does the bonfire cost money? No, it doesn't. Okay, good. Never mind, I will use it then. Okay, so for that, for that I will use the bonfire. We'll actually even have two bonfires because why not? AP means nothing to me right now. Wait for the night to come. Here's my character page, of course. Gives you detailed information about your character, stats, items, and skills. My fear factor, stamina, life points. I can actually drag the items into my inventory if I need to. I'll equip it just in case. Uh, skills. Here's the actual skill tree. On the right you can see my current level and the various things I can research. Now, eventually we get the ability... It'll actually tell us this next round, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, requires level 4. Actually, no, it might be... Actually, it's another two missions, it looks like, till I get that ability. Uh, but eventually, you can spend your remaining action points uh, by doing what, uh, you know, Canadian lumberjacks do. Uh, lumberjacking. And you can uh, select this one. as the This tree here is the most important tree, uh, in my opinion, because it allows you to get more money for each tree so for each uh, you know click of the button you do so it's incredibly important to get all of those uh, to start off with I'm going to don't want trapping or no I'm gonna go uh, rage one for now the trapping one is useful I'll get that next time uh, your trap holds the beasts including werewolves and my cans for 10 seconds very useful for slowing down the enemy although luckily they are also uh, and they are also uh, susceptible to bait. Now, you get some really good options initially that, to replace this old pine axe with. But I'm going to attempt to not select them and just bless the axe when I get the chance. Alright, let's start the night. So the moment I get the chance, I'm going to spend a single dollar to bless my, my axe and that'll help me with werewolves, I hope. three of them. They've cornered them in a cabin east of the village. Now... You have to sign this document for me. What? By signing this, you are giving me custody to all the souls of the villagers. Bastard. When night falls, they will possess the beasts of the forest and transform them into werewolves that will carry out all of our orders. <laughs> out of the question. Sorry. <laughs> Signed under duress. I will never consent to your vile demands. Quiet, mm -hmm. you whiner, and think of the pleasures you'll enjoy when our werewolves bring you back to the woman you desire. Also, how would you like to be appointed a cardinal in Rome? Rome? You said Rome? That is my fondest dream. <laughs> All right. Of course, you can quickly hit tab there to see the map. They're going to get there before the werewolf does, but hopefully they'll stay there long enough for me to shoot them. Boom! Got them all. See, werewolves have a very, very high fear factor, so it's really hard to, kill, to take care of them. And you can see how resistant he is to my damage. That's why I really like the rage. Rage helps significantly, because you can hit him with three times, knock him down. Oh, I got hit. Because you really want to avoid all damage if you can. Especially against these guys, because they're so resistant to the damage, unless you have it blessed. Or a silver axe. So you just kind of attack, run away, attack, run away, and eventually you take them out. Ah! 
match me wolves there we go that's a double right there Double rage that I just researched. There we go, got him both. Oh no, only hit one. That fire's gone out. Oh shit. Light the next fire. Punk! my gun for this now, but why bother? There we go. That's a good double hit. And finished him. GG. GG. Woo! Did it. And I preserved as much money as possible. That's the thing. You really need to preserve a lot of your money in this. Because some of the higher level stuff is expensive. And, you know, if you want to save your money for traps later down the road. There we go. Man, you get a whole two almost three bucks nice I am saving some good cash here Wolves Vale I'm finally making it to Wolves Vale yay the rose and the serpent ha! well hello to my saviors Lord Almighty what's the matter with your sister enjoy this lovely cutscene really I'm gonna go fi yet. refill this drink Strange here things are happening just Tell as the uh, the spy I was joined going to in the W Hood there. Company to get men to help me fix the bridge to the village, only to find out that the camp had been attacked. We found guys that had been half eaten. Not a pretty sight. They say there are vile beasts prowling around here. We'll see about your troubles a little later, Miller. The important thing is to get the bridge fixed so we can save our sister. Joe. Run to the village and get Dr. Lamontang. Bring him back here as quickly as you can. Josephine is too weak to make the trip. Say, sister, I don't suppose you saw Dr. Lamontang in the village. My little sister's very sick and I'm <laughs> All right. get him. No, he hasn't been seen in two days. What's more, ever since the church burned down, the priest hasn't been showing himself. He doesn't want to see anyone. Oh, that you priest. You know, there are people who say that your sister is a witch and that it was all her fault. That's some serious surprised. bullshit. So there's nothing you can do for us? The best I can offer you is divine peace. Would you accept my blessings? Bless me. Uh, I'm all yours. Mm -hmm. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, better versions of my axe appear for the next while here, but I don't want to buy them because otherwise I won't be able to buy the really, really good axe, which is a uh, double blade. It's got some major power to it, and I want that thing. Uh, but yeah, you can bless your uh, bullets and your weapons to increase their effectiveness against diabolic creatures such as werewolves and mycans. I'm going to bless one bullet as it demands, but I'm also going to bless the axe here, allowing me to uh, deal much more damage to the werewolves. Without having to buy a lot. Welcome to Wolvesvale. Now I can go to the general store and buy a lot of, well, general goods. We've got bullets, new guns, armor. All of which I'll be saving my money on though right now. Because I don't want to buy any of that. We have the uh, hardware store slash blacksmith. Where we find a lot of our gun, well, our guns, a lot of our axes. As you can see, we already have the Forest Queen Axe here, which I could afford if I wanted to. But I'm going to save that. I'm going to save my money for a better axe. Because it costs almost six, six dollars, that axe, and it's, which is pretty damn expensive. And right here we have our hotel slash saloon, which has all of our uh, various whiskeys and uh, alcohols. Now, just like the Canadian lore that he kind of, the developers, you know, took the story from this game from and all the various monsters and such um, they also roughly managed to do the same with uh, the liquors as well like all of the liquors you find here are actual like old Canadian liquors you know spruce beer uh, caribou there's Canadian whiskey you know they're they're all original you know types of Canadian alcohol 
which is nice. And their effects are roughly, in some cases, are roughly attuned to that. You know, you, you drink like a certain thing of like Canadian whiskey and you feel invincible or something. Maybe you get invincibility for 30 seconds or you drink something and it'll warm you up or give you health for a while like this one does. Who knows? Obviously, it didn't have exactly that effect. That's, you know, this is... You know, that whole real life is not game or a, a game kind of thing, as it were. <laughs> All right. Bait. Bait will delay the enemies who eat it. This icon shows how much time is left before the bait is finished. The mm -hmm. more enemies there are eating it, the faster it will finish. Incredibly useful for slowing down people, especially werewolves. <sighs> All right. Return to village anytime by clicking its icon. Yep. All right, let's level up my character. I'm gonna get the. Uh, I'm gonna get trapping. Confirm that. Make my traps effect even more effective against werewolves. All right. So the first wave, which is the only wave of the day, we have this guy who's gonna be running for the chicken coop, and two of these guys are gonna be going for the house. So I'm going to slow down the werewolf going for the chicken coop. I will whip out my hanging net here. And I guess I'll keep a fire here as well to slow him down even more. Do I want to? Yes, I kind of do. Well, my holy axe... No, I should be able to deal with them with just my holy axe. So that should be fine, as is. Alright. I like it. Let's go with it. So now that my axe has been sanctified, it should do a much significant... Er, significantly more damage to the werewolves. Which are my only real threat for, the, for quite a while. Yep. I am not going to waste my sanctified bullet for a while, though. Ah! Attack me, go, darn it! Okay. Shit, not close enough. Oh yeah, significantly better damage. Come at me, wolf. Fine, I'll come at you then. Let's dodge back. Okay, my fear factor's not gonna last much longer. It's already more than half over. Okay, regen. I've got a double one now, and I'll save that for the other wolf. Alright, see, now, that is awesome, you know, I love it doing that much damage to the thing, so I should be, that should be significantly op improved over its previous, previous capabilities against these werewolves, because before it was just so resistant to the damage that it, the axe, you, you were almost forced to buy a new axe because you just could not do the damage for it to these things. But luckily, blessing it takes care of that. The wolves themselves are no problem, so, you know, we just have to deal with this. Now, I'm going to immediately, upon attacking him, use my special. That way I can use all my stamina to generate up a new attack. Which I use to delay him once again. Run away. Regen. And attack. And finished. GG. Love being a Canadian lumberjack. Oh. It's the beard, man. Nothing quite like the beard. Good old lumberjack beard. Level four. So now we should finally unlock wood cutting. Yep, the sawmill gets unlocked as well. So we now have to defend the sawmill in addition to my uh, house and the chicken coop. 
But hey, it allows us to cut down trees, so hey, for cash. A mill and problems. The beast did a lot of damage last night. So mm -hmm. I've gone down to the hardware store in the village to get stuff to fix my mill. I was coming back, and since I didn't have any more tobacco in my pouch, I said to myself, it'd be a good idea to warm myself up a little at Jackie's. Say, Phidias, could there be something here that's attracting the beast? Except for my cabin, my barn, there's just your mill. But the attacks keep getting worse night after night. You're not hiding anything from us, are you, friend? Me? Hiding something? As mm. I live and breathe. In fact, if there's something I would have liked, it would have been for you to help me defend my mill last night. The lumberjacks from W. Hood Company came to take away the downed tree that was blocking the main road. So you can easily get to the mill now. And then if you help me, I'll help you back putting out your traps. With the three of us, it'll go faster. Sounds like a good deal mm -hmm. to me. You can count on us tonight. We'll protect your mill. Oh, yeah. The W Hood Company. Sure, let's watch it. Because I already I already explained it, but let's watch it anyway. Chopping lumber. Yay! With access to the mill, you can now cut lumber for the W Hood Company. Just click on the button to chop moolah. wood. Each time you chop wood, you receive money for your effort in exchange for action points. So make sure you fill all your traps first. Action points that are lost this way are represented by the orange part of the gauge. Ah, the spike trap, a favorite of mine. The spike trap. The spike trap automatically triggers as soon as three enemies are standing on it. This icon represents the amount of enemies standing on your trap. Great way to deal with big groups. I must now defend the mill. Indeed I must. Indeed I must. Alright, so this one's going for my house, and two of these are going for the mill. That'll lure them in. Wave two. We got this guy going for the mill. Which will be slowed down by some bait. This guy gets to go for my house. Now hopefully this spike trap should lure them in and take them all out. Likewise over here, I want to have... There we go, come on, drop that in there. Alright, that should be good. Now, before I click that button and screw myself over, I'm going to go quickly to my skills, because the exact moment I unlock that, I always get Lumberjacking 1. Always, 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 always. Another really good one to get at this stage, uh, of course, you'd be tempted by Carpentry, which you know gives you an extra 5 seconds before your buildings or watchtowers are destroyed. Uh, baiting is good for, you know, if you want to slow them down, not have to waste as much uh, action points and... Uh, placing down to like extra bait and uh, then we have something like, like second wind here which is a really good one after you kill an enemy in melee combat recover 25% of your stamina especially if you're against a lot of different wolves that's an extra stamina is gonna help a lot so and that keeps on going up and up and up so you get 50% increases maximum stamina by 25 actually and then finally after you kill an enemy in melee combat you require fi uh, rec recover 50% and you get another 25% so yeah, it's quite nice in that, especially if you're, you know, going to be out there beating things down. It's useful. Alright. Confirmed. Already did. Okay, return. Return. And lumber away. There we go. Alright, that should be everything we need to prep for the evening. And now we wait and hope. Hope and wait, wait and hope.
Oh, it's gonna give me that now. It is enraged. Oh, oh this one sucks. I hate it when werewolves Certain get enraged. Certain enemies have a chance of turning it enraged the more you so attack much. them. Once an enemy is enraged, it's much more aggressive and is no longer affected by your fear factor. Yep, becomes a tough bastard. Especially them damn werewolves. Eventually, there's also the factor of wind. You'll actually not just have the uh, green cone, or green cone, green circle around your character, but also a cone designating the wind. There we go, they were killed. And uh, you can actually eventually get control of the wind, which allows you another way to lure in the enemies. Guess I shouldn't have used this. Could have uh, could have sold a little bit more lumber. Oh well. Every plan sometimes has its flaws. Mine was baiting that, adding that little extra bait there to slow that guy down, which wasn't necessary. Could've got me another couple cents. Oh well. Oh well. Other than that though, freaking perfect plan. Even in this case, you know what? Hmm. Yeah, let's just start at dawn, just because I really want to save that money. I really, really want to save that money. Yes, continue. Alright, so we'll put this here. That was completely successful. We'll need one over here to slow this guy down. That's all we will need. By then I should have already caught up to him. We'll need one here to take down this guy. There we go. Beautiful. And the rest is all us. I think it's already... No, I should redo my skill here, too. Lumberjacking, confirmed, returned. And that gives me another, you know, what is this? What does this thing cost? Cost free. Oh, God damn it! I wasted my time for no reason. Oh, no, I didn't because it cost AP. So it costs 15 AP. So I gained another 30 of the... Or three of these, basically. So that's that's some good cash in my pocket now, right there. So let's quickly restart the night. We'll get through this in two seconds. And kicking ass, taking names, all that good stuff. My god, though, I'm so happy about that. Okay, let's skip that. Are we already know in run range. Let's go. Let's go, 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 go. Have at the Warven Bastards! I still have my shout, so if that guy even stops eating the bait and starts running. I should be able to lure him in with a shout. I like to give each of them, if I can, initially a good one, two, three with my axe here. In order to uh, give them some additional fear. Alright, next is the werewolf. Werewolf one, fight! Let's do this, punk. Boom! Uppercut. Nothing like good uppercut with your axe. Got it. All right, time to run. There we go. So that got me some more cash, and cash is incredibly important. Sometimes you just need to refine your build. <laughs> Alright. Should be finishing up here pretty quickly. Come and get some, boy. Let's go, dang it. Oh, he didn't hear me? What he was within range. Oh whatever. He's 
still sitting here nomming away. What the hell? That was weird. For a second I couldn't attack. Here's a good double. Back up. What's up, wolf? Done, punk. Easy. Easy. You. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with Canada. We've killed werewolves. No. No, anyway. 4.47. Nice. The Mikan Warriors, resistant to non-silver personal weapons, cannot be lured with bait. So these guys are strong regardless. So even my Blessed might not do as much damage against this thing. Mysteries and Fury. Ah, the Firewall, one of my favorites, if not my... It's my second favorite trap, next to the Explosive Barrel. Firewall. And of course the Tower. Use Firewall to really block paths in the forest. Forcing enemies to take an alternate route. If you block every available path with firewalls, enemies will sacrifice some health and go through the walls anyways. If one enemy does this, it breaks the wall allowing others through unharmed. The river may freeze over sometimes. Make sure you take this new path into account. Tonight you face the Mycans. They are attracted by your bait and are very resistant to all normal and blessed personal weaponry. Which means it's going to suck. A lot. Alright, let's see here. 10 points of damage to werewolves and grand wolves. Hmm. Let's go with marksmanship, I guess. No. There's marksmanship or there's trapping too. You know what? I'm going to go for trapping too. It's a bit of a hard uh, choice there, as it were. Okay. Luckily, we only have one wave to deal with, so that should be... That should be good for us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this, cut this section off. I'm basically completely forcing him to go around here. So he now has to go all the way around. And even, even though it hurts, I will waste a little bit of money to get a trap here to slow him down. Now they're both going to be coming this way. So I'm going to set up a single... 20 action points for that. No, I'll sacrifice some health rather than than take the hit on action points. So I'll set in a single net here. I'll lure them both into the net. Shoot it, take them out as well as I can. This guy's going to take a while for me to beat down with the weapon I have. He has 35 hit points, so that's going to take quite a while to, to beat out of him. And then I'll have to go over to this guy. I kind of want to use another hanging net, but no. I'll just have to use my strength and such here. I almost have enough for that weapon. Okay, let's go take a visit to the village and see if they have it yet. They should have the other axe, but not the one I'm looking for yet. Nope, they have the champion felling axe. It's one more. It has a really good range as well as uh, maximum damage. So I'm waiting for that. Maybe by then I'll actually have enough to buy it and bless it, which would be really nice. Alright. Begin the night. I do have one health potion if I need it. Which I probably will in this case. Now we get the natives. <laughs> the 
There is a blood moon tonight. I go to meet the ancients. Can I go with you? No, I would rather go alone. Will you be back before dawn? Perhaps. The Mikans are unpredictable. Before you go, can you tell me what this blood moon means? It's a bad omen. The invisible beast will soon come to test us. Devil! The Devil! beast that Manny Wepiquan, Josephine's mother, spoke of before leaving us? The one that will destroy our tribe? I'm not sure yet. Manny Wapquan could have been wrong. I will have to search further. Yep. Luckily, this is the only time I have to fight the Mycans for a while. So by the time the Mycans get back, I should be good to go. And I still have my Holy Bullet as well. So I'll probably reload and use the Holy Bullet on the other one. If I have the time. Left of you, Dag Nabbit. Slow gun. At least I got him. Immediately going to beat him down. God damn it. Stamina is killing me right now. Nope, I'm not gonna get a chance to use the holy bullet. Nor will my shout be prepared in time. Oh well. Actually, it probably wouldn't have very much of an effect against him anyway. Because it's only a blessed bullet. It's not a, uh... It's not a silver bullet. And that's how I win it. Although he might rage mode here soon. There we go. Still, I'm doing quite well. His health is going down. I, this is the first time I've gotten hit this whole time. Fully recharged. Doubled. Oh, he's raging. He's raging. Now he's gonna attack. Oh, I missed it! Oh no, I just barely got him! Wow, that was lucky. That was so lucky. Even, even in rage mode though, they do back off after they've hit you, so that gives you a chance to quickly recover, you know, get a bit of stamina in, and then just beat his face in. Nice. Tell, repel the first attack of the Mycans, 310 experience. No damage to anything, level 6. Almost got $6. So I should have what I need. We punish white skins who profane sacred land. If you don't get out of my way fast, I'll profane you a hatchet in the head. How do you like that for an answer? I bring warning, that is all. Red hair, leave, or be sorry. You have three moons. Yep. Meanwhile, the, the Indian village. The of the forest, the Mikans, are restless. They believe that the son and the daughter of Manny Wapikwan are responsible for the presence of evil in these lands. What are we going to do? Those white men disgust me. We don't need them to protect the village from their prophecy. With all the respect I owe Mr. Meshishu, maybe we don't need the two brothers. But we certainly need their sister Josephine. If she has even a fraction of the power her mother had, She'll be a valuable assistance to us. Mm -hmm. There's no indication she inherited gift from Maniwapi Kwan. Those whites are already lost anyway. 
Go and bring them to me. Grand werewolf. Okay, this is where shit gets fun. This is why I have my holy bullet. Or holy blessed bullet. I well, either way, it's holy bullets, you know. Same shit, different pile. The little girl and the wolves. Oh, hell, this one. I need to kill him fast. You haven't seen my little girl Adele around here, have you? No, Theo. Nothing but wolves. We organized the search in the village. My dogs picked up a scent on your land, and since I don't really know this What's that part smell? of the forest... Hmm. Smells like a pompous windbag coming. No, oh, no, hey, no. it is! Don't need them! Anyway, with the wolves prowling around, I wouldn't bet much on the girl's chances. Wolves? I've been mayor for almost 12 years now, and I can assure you that there haven't been wolves in the woods around here for a long time. Look at my drying rack. Look at all the skins I've got. The girl couldn't have come this far. The dogs must have made a mistake. If these guys are willing to help us... If I tell you we don't need these two, it's cause we don't need them. I'm the one who makes the decisions in the village. If you don't like mm -hmm. it, you can run in the next election. Okay, Mr. Mayor. Don't get your shorts in a nut. Sorry to bother you, fellas. We'll keep mm -hmm. our eyes peeled. I think the mayor doesn't really care much for us. Nope. Nobody likes us, Josie. Everybody's afraid of us. Yep. Oh, well. Unfortunate. What do we got here now? Mm -hmm. Ah, wind. Wind time. Always keep the wind's direction in mind watch that. when you're planning out your strategies. Enemies not only detect you by the here noise you make, they can also track your scent. Your Which scent carried your by traps. the wind is shown as a cone on your minimap. Enemies that smell you will start to track you. Enemies will not stop tracking you as long as they can smell you. Yep, which is why you gotta run to the left, not away from it. Alright. Now, it's I like it when they're going from here to here. Because it's fairly simple just to go and stretch this like that. And they have no choice but to run around here. If I even cut this off, they have to go all the way around. Let me sell this a bit. There we go. Alright. So this guy's going for the chicken coop. We got these three coming uh, coming to the house. So I'll deal with all of them as I, ha as I can. This one will be dealt with with a quick little trap. Wave 2, we have the grand werewolf on the way. You know what I'll do actually? This is what I'll do. Just because I don't want to spare any time. If I can afford it. Use the hanging net on him. It's one of the more effective ones to use for him. Okay. Inventory, skills. Already got traps too. I could probably get marksmanship. Or second wind. Let's go for second wind. Confirmed. Return. Return. Alright. Cut down all the trees. Head over to Wolves Vale. Hopefully my axe is in the store now. Nope, one more. Alright. Mm, I'm tempted to buy some of the alcohol here, but... I don't know. I didn't waste any yet, so I'm good. Ah, we have a new one here. Where is it? Rye whiskey. Good old Canadian rye whiskey. Fills the rage meter to max. Alright, no, I'm good right now. Which can actually be quite useful, you know. Once I'm done grabbing items and such, I tend to go straight for those uh, drinks because they can be incredibly useful later down the road. 
And then the general store, we probably have the boots by now. Yeah, we have the boots, a couple new guns. Now, there's a couple different high-end muskets you can get down the road. Uh, one is really good at range, like high range. Uh, one is really quick at reloading. And the last main, uh, main la the main gun actually has a double barrel, so you can make two shots. And I'm going to be buying the double barrel. Okay, that's about as good as I can get. Start the night. And pray. <laughs> pray for our success. And then we don't get murdered. Is everything ready? Have the traps been set? Shh. Listen. It sounds like a little girl singing. Go take a look. I'm going back to the cabin. Be quick about it. The sun's setting. It's too late for that, man. Alright, let's do this. I have to kill them before they find her. get through that shit he somehow managed to get through what the hell he shouldn't have been able to make it through that you know what in that case let me try something a little bit actually I'll even be able to save some money this way so I'll bring them over here Damn it. Screw it then, I'll leave them right here. And there we go. That will take out the last wolf. And then it's nothing but the other guys coming at me. Put that one there, hanging net. Alright, inventory, quickly select my skill again, which was second wind, confirm, return, return, and sell off everything. And that might actually give me enough to, yeah, get a last one. So, yeah, that works for me. Alright, start the night. Start the night. That'll get that little bastard trying to sneak around my traps. That'll show him. Let's do this, punk! Got him. Alright, that's everyone. Now I gotta go find her. She's adorable. Wolves don't wear shirts, damn it! Except werewolves. They wear human shirts. <laughs> Sure thing. Hold on, kid. 
I won't let a wolf touch you. My name isn't Little Joe O'Carroll. Damn straight. Here comes the Grand Werewolf. Oh, fuck me. Bad timing. Bad timing on my part. Wasted all that for nothing. I may actually have to use my health potion this time. Okay, fully charged, fully charged. Let's do this, asshole! Can't believe I managed to get the upper hand on the Grand Werewolf like this. To bring his fear factor up that high. Boom! Uppercut! And you're down, asshole. Yeah, I'm gonna skin you! Oh, wait, you turn back to human when you die. Never mind. Never mind, I'm not Come gonna skin here, you then. I'll take you home to your papa. You know my father? You yes. can say that. Yes. Yes, He's trust trust the creepy him. man in the woods. Trust the creepy yeah, man in the woods. The man with the glasses showed me a hiding place. The man with the glasses? He sees invisible things, but he hides near the maple tree. He doesn't want people to see him. Mm -hmm. If you manage to find a kind soul in this accursed forest, good for you. Yep. You were lucky, kid. ha <laughs> Ah, them boots. See, kids, it turns out Santa Claus was Canadian. He's got the boots and the shirt and everything. Just needs a white beard and he's good to go. <laughs> white beard and red hat. Ah, the will-o'-wisps. Will-o'-the-wisp. Very resistant to non-holy personal weapons. Wayside cross allows you to temporarily bless, or actually not bless, do damage to anything like that in the area, which is quite useful. I can never thank you enough for what you've just done. If you just had a little bottle of... Sorry, my brother's a little rough around the edges. Back of the farm. Hey, look at the beautiful black stallion standing in front of your place, Jackie. A far cry from that broken down old mare you had, I tell you. Don't speak ill of Blondinette, Josie. And I can tell you, if I could have her back, I'd give your life for hers any time. Now let's hurry up and see who's paying us a surprise visit. Mm-hmm. Unexpected visitors. Hey there, fellas. Good news! I ran into a doctor who was heading to the village to relieve Dr. Lamontagne. I told him about Josephine's illness, and he suggested going to see him right away, for free! Just Devil! Devil! I've examined your no, sister, anyway. and it's imperative that she go with me to the village. Oh, yeah? So what's wrong with our Josephine? <laughs> uh, it's a rare illness that attacks the brain. In any case, to be certain, I will have to examine her in a proper doctor's office. A doctor that don't charge you? I can't believe that. I understand your suspicion. I'll just take a little of her blood, just a few drops, to do a few tests. There. That's all there is to it. You lie with every breath. You don't know what you're doing. What is coming is beyond your power, demon. Hmm. Dun dun dun. Interesting. Uh, trust me. I'll be back soon with my diagnosis. Grab your jacket and get the blazes out of here right now. We'll yep. see each other again soon. And good luck with the fireflies. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. The watchtower. Ah, my one of my other one of my other favorites. Watchtowers. Placed in pairs, the watchtowers come equipped with a zip line, allowing you to travel quickly from one to the other. Very to get useful. on top of a watchtower, press E. 
To use the zip line, walk up to it and press E. Yeehaw! If you happen to be detected on top of a watchtower, your enemies will try to destroy it. Which you never want to happen. You need that watchtower, damn it. So we got these two in the beginning, which I can take out handily myself. Couple of wolves. Alright. So, the first of these is going to go from here. Well, do I really need it to go to the chicken coop? Because I can go to the chicken coop myself. I can run to the chicken coop myself. For now, I'll just do it as is. From there to the mill. And actually, I still have the trap there, because all four of those guys got caught in that one trap. So that'll slow down one of them. Alright. That'll take care of the other one. Alright, we're good to go. Let's uh, check out my skills here. I might have... No, not quite. need level 8. So one more level, and I'll be able to get that. So I'm going to get marksmanship now. Which will help with uh, reloading and shooting and whatnot. Let's uh, chop down some trees. Get some money. And by now, it should actually be in the town. So here's hoping. To the hardware store. And I got a lot of money now, so I've never had this much cash. There it is. The King's Double Bit Axe. It's a little... Its agility isn't that great, but it's a lot better than what I'm currently using anyway. So we'll get that guy. Finally. We'll go quickly bless him. Item has no value. That's the only unfortunate part. Your base axe has no value. Go to the Covenant. Bless this axe. Thank you. I'll bless a second bullet. Go to the general store. Might have to save up a little bit more cash here before I want to buy anything. Yeah, I'll buy a couple of bullets. And I'll call it at that. For now. For now. Alright, return to the house. Inventory. Equip my new sexier axe. Return and begin. Begin the night. The Willow the Wisp? That's why the doctor was talking about fireflies. Jack was right. He wasn't a flim flam man. He's a wizard. Or worse. Much worse. Much worse. Now these things are actually quite interesting. They actually have a ranged attack, as you can see there. Now with this new sexier axe, though, these guys are going down like nothing. Okay, up we go. Whee! Now you can actually sit up here and snipe, and if you get the uh, ability for it... Oh shit. I don't want to lure them in, though. I want those wolves to die from the trap. I need both of those for my next opponent. Alright, let's get going. We should be arriving soon. Yep, one wolf got caught. Easy! 
Oh, fuck, wait, did I prepare for this one? I'm not sure I prepared for this wave. I did not. Crap! I'm just now realizing I did not prepare for wave three. Should be still good though. I hope. Oh, I nailed both of that. Sweet. Sweet. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Yeah, baby. I didn't prepare for it, but I managed to... Managed to kick some ass there. Even got in place with this guy, and I still didn't have him wasted my potion yet. So I am doing damn good. Yeah! Maybe I should have gotten Jack after all. Or Jack, the other guy. Done! Woo! Head to the waypoint, very well. Money, money, money. What is that light? The light! The light! Ghost! Ghost! Come and rescue a suffering soul. Follow me. Okay, I guess I can follow the mysterious ghost thing that's gonna take me out to the woods and rape me. No, anyway. Welcome to the chapel. Don't know why there's a chapel nearby my house, but apparently there's a chapel nearby my house that I never knew about. I am condemned to haunt this place every night. Until some kind soul helps me save me to deliver me from my curse, I beg you to rebuild the chapel. Bah! All this business with the good lord, the devil, curses. I'm starting to get fed up with it all. Yeehaw! But yeah, with this holy double bit axe, I should be absolutely dominating the enemies. Once I get the double double shot rifle, it'll be done. I'll be golden. I should have slowed down the other guys with some bait. Oh well. Since Ryer Whiskey accumulates your rage power to its current maximum, it becomes more useful once you've acquired more rage skills. Indeed. I should now be able to get the more important thing. Excuse me again. I feel him. I see him. He's speaking to me. Who's speaking to you, Josephine? The wandering soul of someone who is suffering. His pain is great and his quest is just. Be good to him, and he will be good to you in return. Which is always welcome. We're starting to have quite a few enemies. Wouldn't hurt to have an ally. I say Even let's a ghostly one. chapel for him. First, we'll have to defend it. And quickly, the Mycons gave us three moons before they come back. Mm-hmm. Ah, it's my favorite. My absolute favorite out of all the traps, the explosive barrel. The explosive barrel. barrel. Insta kills you can send werewolves. Off an explosive barrel by shooting it. Anything can that can insta kill a group of werewolves is like high five e. to me. It's the thing I use the most.
All right. Let's set this guy. Well, I don't really want to use that right now, so I'll leave that as is because I want to. Well, I don't really need the money now, do I? Okay. Wave one is wolves showing up through there. Wave two is werewolves. Finally, wave three, we have a couple will o wisps and grand werewolves. Alright. Lumberjacking two, obviously, I need. Let's confirm that. Now, we've unlocked a bunch of new ones here. Net crafting causes 50% more damage for a total of 42. Very important to have. Can now finish off any extra wolves and such. If you uh, did have a long range rifle, you could get sniping, so you do 100% more damage when you fire from the watchtower. This is a good way to get your watchtower destroyed, though, so you want to be careful with that. Another very important one is firewall at this point, which makes the uh, firewall now frighten will o wisps. So they will actually go around. And then, of course, all the usual stuff rage 2 and such. Three rage points and execute a uh, attack that does 360 degrees of damage. Alright. So. Let's start off by cutting the path. And I'm going to start off by using a simple bonfire down here to hold them off and kill them. Then I will use this times two. A little hunk of meat and an explosive barrel. That will take care of both groups of werewolves. Both should take care of both these guys. And finally the grand werewolves here. And regular one. Alright. Let's do some lumberjacking. And head to town. Let's see what we got in the general store. Should have the new rifles now. They do. Unfortunately, they're expensive. Especially this guy right here, which is the one I was talking about before. The Remington Double Musket. Okay. It's going to be a while before I can afford that. So let me buy some extra alcohol here, just in case. Faster sprint. Why not? I might need that. I'll get an extra extra health point one. Alright, let's head back to the house. This will be the final mission I do for today, though. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this uh, lovely little game here. Uh, you can also pick it up on Steam if you are interested in it. And uh, try out your own strategies if you were. If you err, as it were. Uh, the first one's up to like this point, though. I've kind of perfected, as you can see. So, <laughs> Alright, let's start up the night. However, from here, from a little bit further than this on, it's all, all to the wind, as it were. Oh, hey, look! It's the evil mayor! All comfy in his bed. And there goes his evil soul. What a cocky bastard. Has a painting and a sculpture of himself. Truly is a pompous windbag. Aw, it's up to the wolf. Oh shit. Hey, it's Dr. Lemontang! He's I think that's him. Pretty sure that's him. The beasts of the devil will soon be here. I sense some coming, drawn by the holy aura of the Regan Chuck. Make sure those werewolves don't interrupt me while I'm praying to sanctify them. Easy for you to say. I may be strong, but there's limits, eh? That's fine. We got this. Alright, let's get on the correct one here. 
And away we go. And I have everything else prepared. I just have to make sure they don't get caught in my wind. Where the hell are you going? Get your asses back here, assholes. There we go. See that? See that stamina bit there? So useful. Oh fuck. <laughs> Fire was going out! Fire was going out! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Woo! That was some tough shit. Alright. Let's back up. Get ready for him. I got this, man. I got this. Do I have a shot from here? I do not. Okay, we should have it from here. Yep. Okay, this will either heavily damage all of them, or it should at the very least, you know. Or either kill them, or heavily damage them, I should say. As long as I hit the right thing. If I shoot the wrong thing, I'm a bit screwed here. Got them all. Love it. Reload! Yep. And make sure that he's not going to be in my wind path. He's not. Okay, good. So once they start heading up the uh, trail here, I'm going to hop up top here. And I'll shoot it from above. I hope he doesn't, I hope he doesn't pop up there, otherwise I'll be in trouble. I don't want him catching my scent. Okay, up we go. Get ready. Shit. Please tell me I have aim out here. Just barely I do. Just barely. Come on, wolf. You're slow. Go catch up. Goodbye! Okay, the ground is still alive, but that's okay. See? All, everything but the Grand Werewolf just dies, which is so useful. Okay, he's, he'll be back. Unfortunately, you hate it when they do that, because he's going to come back at full health. So these Will-O-Wisps, especially in large groups, you really have to make sure to finish them off, or they will heal themselves like that. Damn annoying, because it delays you as well in getting to where you need to go. But anyway, that's finished this them off. This is now a sanctuary that protects against as long as it is in good condition, it will delay the arrival of evil creatures to the forest. Very useful. That delay will give you more time to prepare to defend these spices. In addition, if you build a wayside cross and you pray to it, I will know that you need my help, and I will come to your rescue. Very useful against will o wisps if you have to have, like, you know, Eight or nine of them going to a single area. It's worth doing. You know, I need a large amount of them. But since I have this blessed double blade axe, which is incredibly powerful, I probably won't need it. More than likely. Alright. Take all that. Good money. I actually should have enough to buy that gun, the double barrel gun here. Next time around. Ah, the Mike Can shamans are coming in now. Very resistant to non-silver weapons, cannot be lured by bait, can cast spells with lunar magics. 
Recommend traps to the hanging nets, spike trap, and sacred tree. The mic hands are back. Chapter 10, allies and enemies. What a nice surprise. You can just go away as far as I'm concerned. Who is it? A lost moose. Bah, I'm sorry my brother has no manners. Not much of a head either. Hmm? What? My chief sent me to seek the descendants of the priestess Maniwapiquan and Bone O'Carroll to speak with them in our village. Is the village far? Because I don't want to leave Josephine alone for too long. You'll be back very soon. He insulted me, didn't he? He did, huh? No. Mm. Saying someone has no head among his people, it's a compliment. It means you're a man of all heart. <laughs> How? Ah, uh, uh, good. I like that better. <laughs> I am Usimash, chief of the Unuach tribe. Our tribe wishes to know if you have met those my people call the Maikans. They can change appearance, but most often they take the form of standing wolves. I must have slaughtered two dozen of those hairy fools just since last Sunday. Don't confuse them with ordinary werewolves. The Mikans are not sensitive to the prayers of your white shamans, but they are vulnerable to silver weapons. Yep. Also, look at this. It's the amulet of Metshu, the great eagle. Our tribe has used it for centuries to change the direction of the wind in order Very to lure game into our traps. But you're not going to give them the amulet, are you? Mr. Machishu, I have not asked for counsel. The tribe of the Inuach are making you a gift of this powerful talisman. Take good care of it. But what do they have against us? We haven't done anything to those Makons. They believe you are partly responsible for the evils that are affecting us. According to them, if you are gone, the evil will go too. You already know too much. Leave! He's really a nice guy, the mighty wizard. Thank you for the information and the amulet. Yep. So now they actually do stock it in the... Yeah, sure, let's watch the video for the Wayside Cross. Why not? The Wayside we're, we're, Cross. We're calling this for today, though. To activate the Wayside bit, Cross, check things press out, but E be it. to start praying. Ah! Once activated, the Wayside Cross lasts for one minute and does damage over time in a large area to all diabolic creatures. Which could be useful, but it does so little damage. My axe does so much more, so... Now visit the Indian village whenever you want. Alright, so we got five of those will o -Wisps making their way in the first wave to my house, which is fine. And then we have fun times here, you can see. We have a lot of hell coming our way. We've got my can warriors, the shaman, a bunch of wolves. You know, it's just a whole slew of things. Cannot be lured with bait. So to say the least, our hands are just, you know, going to be tied. I can, I can think of a couple different traps I can use here to bring them to me. Bring a lot of these guys to my house and take them out. I might actually be able to force all three of these guys to come to the house for a spike trap. No, I doubt it. I'll just beat them, de beat them to death with my axe. So we can head on over to the, uh, to the Indian Reserve here. We can... Talk to the chief. Head over to the chief's hut. And here we can buy the silver hatchet. Uh, talisman made from uh, three bear teeth. Substantially increases the stamina of the wearer. This is an important thing to have. My can talisman made of the wolf tooth. Talisman creates a threatening aura around the wearer. Capable of frightening most animals. Increases my fear factor, which is useful. But stamina is almost more important, so it's debatable. Also buy a couple of silver bullets. Oh, that's tough. You know what? I'm gonna buy that. Turn to the house. Inventory. Passive item. I'll put that on me. Check out my skills. My skills! Skills! Now, I would like to have this guy right here, Firewall, which would help me take out a lot more opponents. 
But I'm gonna get Rage, this one right here. Rage 3. Allow me to accumulate even more Rage, I think. Well, it's still debatable here, because we have also Bloodthirst, Marksmanship 2. No, I'll go for the Rage. I think. Because there are no... Oh, no, there are Will-O-Wisps here. But that's okay, they're not enough of them to make me uh, make any real threat. I already have that, so it's fine. Confirmed. Alright. Good enough for now. Let's go check out the village quickly, see what they happen to have stockpiled up, and then we'll head over and get you done. Well, I don't mean that'll be it for now, but you know. We'll get you done next time, at least I'll know what I'm doing. Okay, the double Remington musket still requires another two two dollars in order to buy. I doubt the blacksmith has anything new. He might, but nope. Once you get that double blade axe, it's one of the more powerful ones you can get as far as I'm aware. I'm not aware of any other stronger ones, so hopefully it stays that way. Okay. I will have to buy some additional, uh, some of these guys right here, which fills my rage meter. They will be incredibly useful to me. We have another new alcohol here somewhere. I think. No. No, it's all the same now. Damage, stamina, yep, no, it's all good. It's all good. But yeah, you can actually use the talisman to change the winds, but we'll learn more about that next time. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, new little series here. And hopefully I'll manage to use it to actually finish this game, because I've been, you know, dragging my heels on finishing this game for a long time now. So it's good that I'm using uh, YouTube as motivation to get it done. So yeah, thanks for watching, uh, everybody. Uh, let me quickly make sure I can save this up. Oh, it should be fine as is. Alright. So yeah, have yourselves a great one, everybody. Silver Dragon out.